This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the description of this video for the full playlist. Uh, and in the previous videos, we've been looking a little bit at, at some GUI options. Uh, we were looking at Zenity, uh, and we also looked at Dialog. Dialog is a nice GUI-like interface, uh, but it's all text-based. Um, but it's an external tool. It's not necessarily on your system. It's on a lot of systems, available for most systems, but not always there. Uh, so can we make some sort of file selector uh, purely out of scripts uh, that would should run on any system that has uh, your, your shell installed? Let's go ahead and give that a try. I'm in a folder here, and if I list out, you can see I've got five files here. And I'm going to create a shell script. I'll call it um, file menu. And I'm using Vim as my text editor, but use whatever text editor you prefer. I'm going to give it the shebang line, saying that this is a bash script. And I'm going to say, echo, please select a file. Now I'm going to throw an array into a, or I'm going to create an array from the files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say options equal, and then inside uh, parentheses. I'm going to say dollar sign parentheses find dash max depth one dash print zero and I'm going to pipe that into xargs and do a dash zero. Uh, so basically this is just saying you know basically find all the files in the current directory um, Max depth means only go through this one directory, don't go into subdirectories. We're going to say to print that information out and pipe it into xargs, basically creating an array of all our files in the current directory. Now we're going to do a select option. So I'm going to say, or select function, I'm going to say select, and we'll say opt for options in and we're going to pass it our array that we just created. So dollar sign and squiggly braces or curly braces, whatever you want to call them. Uh, options and we're going to say the at symbol there. And uh, then we are going to give it a, a la final option of oops, quit. So basically it's going to list all our files give them each a number and make the last option quit in case you decide you want to exit. Now I'm going to say do and done. And let me go ahead and exit out so we get some color coding here. Should have done that originally. Uh, so make it a little easier to read there. Now we're going to do an if statement. And we're going to say if and inside double uh, parentheses we're going to say reply equals one plus dollar sign curly braces pound options at symbol oops yeah then exit so what this is saying here is we're looking at our array called options and we're getting the va the number of them. So if there's five files, this equals five. If there's 10, then there then it's 10. And then we're here we're saying add one to that. So basically it, we're giving each file a number and here we're saying if the user enters a number higher than the value of files, uh, then we're gonna exit. That would be the quit option right there. Then we're going to say L if. So if they pick anything other than that last option, which is the exit option, we're going to say reply is greater than zero and reply is less than or equal to dollar sign braces pound option options at symbol 
and then we'll close our double braces here. Then we will echo your file is, and we'll say uh, dollar sign OPT, and then we will break out of this little select function. Close our if statement, and we've already closed our select option. So uh, let's explain, oh, you know what? No, let's put an else here as well. Uh, we're gonna say else echo not a valid option. Please try again. Okay, I'll explain this and then we'll look at it. So first we're echoing out, echoing out a message, then we're creating an array, which is the list of all our files in the current directory, folders and files. Then we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna give the, op, the user, we're gonna use select so the user can select, and whatever they select is gonna go into a variable called OPT, and the different options are our list of files or quit. Here we're gonna say if the user inputs a number that is equal to the last option, so all our files plus one, it's going to then exit. Else if, uh, we're going to check the reply, as long as it's greater than zero, and the reply is less than the number of options, then we're going to output that they selected, with well, the file that they selected and then break out of this little loop. And if they pick something that is not an option at all, we're gonna say it's not a valid option, please try again. Let's go ahead and save that. Make it executable using change mod plus X file and then our file name. And now we can say dot slash saying that we're running a script in the current directory and the name of our script and when we hit enter, it says please select a file and it gives us options here and we can select now the number that we want to select. So what I'm gonna say here is, let's say I want this file. That's file five, I can say five and hit enter and it says the file is in the name of the file. If I was to run the same thing and hit eight, it would quit. And if I was to type in 32 or 23, it's gonna say not a valid option and ask me to enter again. If I type in blah, 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 it's gonna say the same thing until I pick a valid option, which is one through eight. I'll pick eight to quit. Uh, so that's, that's uh, it. We're gonna do one little tweak here. You notice that we have um, the dot slash. You may not want that. You probably don't want that in a lot of cases when you're working with your script. So let's go back in to our script here and let's change it so that here we can say that OPT, our option equals, and then uh, we can say either dollar sign and uh, parentheses or back ticks, either or in this case, it's not a big deal in this particular case either way, but we'll say base name of dollar sign OPT. That's saying, just get the file name of that option, which should remove that dot slash. So now we can see all our options. If I pick, let's say three, which is file five TXT, you can see that we have removed that dot slash from the beginning of the file name. I hope you found this useful. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description to this short and simple script. And in our next video, we're going to add a little bit to it. So I thank you for watching. If you found this video useful uh, and you find a lot of my videos useful, you may want to become a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There should be a link in the description to that page. Uh, and there you can become a supporter with as little as a dollar a month. It would be greatly appreciated. If you can't afford uh, a dollar a month or more, uh, you can think about supporting by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. That really does help me out a lot. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Ooh.